Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to do a review and no, not on my Cameo. On this. This is the hand-sized CBP Classic Study Bible. It is actually C.I. Schofield uh, Study Bible. Uh, they refer to it as Classic. To compare a... <laughs> this is on sale right now for 50 something dollars. Um, it's on Church Bible Publishers, and I'll put a link down in the description for this. So you need to take advantage of this right now. It's on sale. It is iron calfskin. I'll get more into it in just a minute. The reason why I'm comparing these, most of the time to compare this to a 60 something dollar Bible would be, um, uh, it'd be just suicide for uh, a Bible of 60 something dollars. But that's not going to be the case today, and I'll show you why. So let's start with the the uh, classic study Bible first. First thing you'll notice <laughs> is it is iron calfskin. It has an amazing grain to it even though it's iron. Look at that. It's real smooth, buttery filling in the hand, but that grain is amazing. The spine's amazing. Five raised hubs, gold embossed, CBP, same with authorized King James, as well as Holy Bible at the top. The grain on this is just amazing. So it is an amazing grain. It's ironed calfskin again. The ribbons are an improvement. They are comparable to the Cambridge. They are thinner. Um, they're not as wide. Uh, it is perimeter stitched. They always done a nice job of that. Um, this is a synthetic liner. Uh, it, that's what they advertise on their uh, website. They have other options if you're not into the CI Schofield. <laughs> I know many people don't like CI Schofield for many reasons. Um, I am not in the same camp as he is and I don't have the same beliefs, but <laughs> can I tell you, you're not going to find a study Bible of this portable um, these days. This is a classic study Bible. You hold a piece of history in your hand. You don't have to agree 100%. Um, most people that get study Bibles are not going to going to agree 100% with everything that is written in the uh, study Bible. Uh, it is man's text. C.I. Schofield, I don't think, would have uh, claimed to have all the answers. Uh, he just did it as he understood. Um, so, again, it's about the text of the Bible, not necessarily the um, study notes themselves. Some are very helpful and some are not so useful, but that's just my personal opinion. Some people might agree with 100% what he says. If you do, by all means, this is definite must. This is not just for people beginning to get into the premium Bible game. <laughs> this is where I started, so this holds a special place in my heart. I studied, started with the uh, classic study Bible midsize, and that's always an option, too, for people that want a margin. This doesn't have much of a margin because it's more portable. It's hand size. This is almost the exact same dimensions as the Concord. Um... I will put in the description the exact dimensions. Um, I'll measure it once I get done with this Bible review. So <clears throat> be sure to look. Be sure to look in the description um, for the dimensions of this. I will do one with cover and one without cover. So you open it up and you see the gold embossed iron calfskin here. Um, very nicely done. Very comparable to Cambridge. Um, it's more supple than a Cambridge. Uh, cover right out of the box especially if you're talking about Cambridge's calfskin it's going to be more stiff yet they put like a card stock in their calfskin most of the time you get the uh, edge lined Bible here the tab a few card stock pages now this, <clears throat> these presentation pages are super nice. They're on matte finish, so they do it amazing. See that gold with the blue? Um, Bible was presented to by on. Look at that gold. Um, I wish the light was actually shining on here better. Um, I'm in a shade, but that gold is just absolutely amazing. Um, the blue family record of and then the gold again children marriages the gold is comparable to the gold on their 
they just do an amazing job of that gold. There will not be no, there will be no art gilt underneath the gold. It's just white under gold, but amazingly done. Look at that gold. It's still showing up fairly true to color here. Um, in the light, it will shine more. It's very well done. I just love what they did with that gold there. Them presentation pages are actually worth having in there. Uh, most of the time when they do a lot of presentation pages, I don't feel warranted, but that was pretty pretty well done, CBP there. Here's their title page here. Uh, it's 265RL, that means red letter, uh, black, calfskin, black, uh, one piece, calfskin, one piece, BK black. And here's their phone number, uh, that's their website. Um, again, I'll put a link in there to this Bible. It comes in three different colors, black, um, the brown, and the red. The red is really nice looking. <clears throat> I really miss uh, Eggman Mania <clears throat> 2001. He always had the, the CBPs, the newest CBP releases. He always had them um, uh, for review. And once I get to health, I hope to do that too, because this is a great ministry, guys. And they, they deserve <clears throat> the attention. Um, definitely uh, this is also Smith sewn obviously uh, if you know anything about CBP they always do that there you go a shot of the Smith sewn some of the best in the business they have very much improved upon their paper <coughs> excuse me in the past their paper felt like it was either too slick and or it felt like a, a newspaper <clears throat> and slick at the same time and the, the ink would smear but this does not do that um, they do these backwards obviously from Cambridge Cambridge does the epistle dedicatory first and then the translators to the reader they do the translators to the reader and then the epistle dedicatory nothing wrong with that <clears throat> just do it different maybe a reason for that maybe because Cambridge does that there's the epistle dedicatory I love this right here that's one of my favorites. But among all our joys, there was no one that more filled our hearts than the blessed continuance of the preaching of God's sacred word among us, which is that inestimable treasure, which excelleth all the riches of the earth, because of the fruit thereof extendeth the self, not only to the time spent in this transitory world, but directeth and disposeth men unto that eternal happiness, which is above in heaven. That's amazing. So here's the introduction, and it says to be read, and this is the introduction to the classic study Bible, C.I. Schofield. Preface to the, pre the, to the present edition, a panoramic view of the Bible. It goes into a lot of detail, a lot of useful information. You don't want to write off all the information just because you might not agree with one thing, or even his doctrine or whatever. Uh, he was a man again. The doctrine you're going to agree with, and you have to agree with if you're a Christian, is the doctrine of right here, the text. So here's the uh, contents page. The wind's want to turn pages for me. Very nice paper. First book of Genesis, you'll get some commentary from C.I. Schofield. Here's the text. And then you get the text at the top, C.I. Schofield at the bottom. You will not find a better, and the reference system also is just like the Cameo. It'll go A, B, and back and forth. Um, so, <laughs> the one thing I like about this over like the Cameo is the way they have the setup. Um, before I talk about that, let's talk about measurements too. They advertise on their website. Um, Three eighths of an inch on the inside, three eighths of an inch on top and bottom, and a quarter of an inch for a margin on the inside. And then, um, what I like about it is, let's say you're flipping through here and you want to know where you're at, um, like Leviticus chapter three, verse five. It starts with ends. This page ends on chapter four, verse eight. That is amazing. Uh, the cameo will just tell you what chapter you're on. It won't tell you the verses. So this is, makes it really fast and easy to, um, to thumb through and find your verse to navigate through. So there's Leviticus. I'll show you the... And it's dark font. It's dark throughout. 
and I will show you a comparison of the black font with the Cameo. As soon as we get to, we'll go to the poetry. Let's stay in Isaiah probably. Yeah, let's just go to Isaiah. So here's Isaiah. Very beautifully done by Church Bible Publishers. Very readable. Very soft and supple, buttery. Um, again, we'll try to turn to Isaiah here. We'll probably hit Isaiah 19. This Bible always turns to that. As you can see, very comparable. Obviously, the 163 Bible dollar Bible compared to 50. Um, CBP rocked this and absolutely worth the money. Same darkness, honestly. Different uh, tint of white to the paper. This has a shade of gray to the to the paper, <laughs> which most Bibles do actually. Um, I put the Cameo against a lot of premium Bibles, and it's a lot wider than the pre whiter than the premium Bibles. I almost sounded like I said wider, but it's whiter. Um, so don't let it deter you. Um, here we go into the New Testament. So you'll have a summary of the Old Testament revelation of deity and some more of his commentary. And you'll have from Malachi to Matthew, right here, his commentary again. That's almost nearly two pages, so about a page and three quarters. And then you'll have the New Testament title page and the four gospels, more, more of his commentary. It's a great study Bible, honestly. You don't have to, you know, this is the day and age of information age. <laughs> we can easily Google um, something, even if, if it's our our uh, theology preference we can google well this is this true in you know calvinism is this true in independent baptist um it's just it's a matter of learning you're going to do that with any study bible i don't know anybody that does just goes oh yep the study bible is 100 percent right they're always going to question especially when it comes to man you should the bible no I want to show you this, <clears throat> the Beatitudes. Um, the reason why is because this is where the red shines. Um, this actually is very well done. It's not often that you get one that has that. Um, they really improved upon their red. If I would have showed you their red back in the day, it was pink. If you didn't know, look, matches. Um, Disclaimer, yes, there are some inconsistencies in CBP, but there also is in these. This is hit and miss. I got lucky from what I've read online, uh, reviews. Um, many people complain about inconsistencies. I've seen a couple. Um, it gets lighter in spots in the Cameo. But for the most part, I got lucky and got one that didn't have those. Um, CBP, very little inconsistency. You'll get like one page. I've only noticed one page. I flipped through it for the last couple hours and went through the whole New Testament, seen one page in Luke that was a little lighter, but still not nothing bothersome. Again, look at that. CBP, hats off to you. You nailed it. Um, very comparable to the Cameo. Um, they do advertise a nine point font. Um, CBP, I would say eight point, just like the Cameo. I put them next to each other. Um, not only are their font, fonts almost identical in font type which is this this is the uh, medieval clarendon font but they also are the they match up perfectly with font size and look same amount of spacing this is pretty much a cameo bible with ci schofield's notes in them um, i would almost say that the <laughs> cbp is a little bit more clear if you really want to be honest look these are fat and bold. See, the blessed are the poor in spirit. Um, blessed are they that mourn. Do you see this? This is very, very clear and completely readable. Um, so I highly recommend CBP guys head over there. <laughs> Again, this is not just for the people that are coming out in a new premium. If you have a premium Bible already, unless you have an R Island, cost you $200, oh well buy this you know why because this thing is going to be one you can beat up beat around throw around carry with you throw it in the glove compartment um, it's hand-sized you're not going to be worried about 
Oh my gosh, my precious Bible, I scratched the guilty. Oh well, this Bible's meant to be used. That's why CBP gives you such a nice Bible that's gonna last for generations and they are not super fancy. They want you to actually use the Bible. They want you to read it. They encourage you to read it. The King James, um, to me, is the best Bible. Am I KJV only? It's no. Uh, I prefer TR text, yes. Um, but will I in the future buy more from CBP? you darn right. Once I heal, I'm probably going to buy every one of these I can get my hands on just to be able to get the word out to you guys that you can get a cheap premium Bible that is just as good as a $163.99 Bible from Cambridge. Am I deterring you from buying Cambridge? No, if that's what you want. If you want a Bible that'll last you forever, a little bit higher end, but it's really, I mean, you ain't getting the gold gilt line, the syntheticness, the synthetic liner looks more synthetic in the Cambridge than it does the, looks more authentic <clears throat> um, in the CBP. Um, yeah, they do have options overseas to buy CBP too, so don't think, oh, well, <laughs> they're going to charge me an arm and leg. Burton Bibles, um, I think they sell Bibles, I'm pretty sure. Um, I will try to put their, their link in the description as well. Um, pretty sure he sells Bibles over there. If he doesn't, um, then I do apologize, obviously. But from what I gather, he does sell Bibles over there in the UK. But here you are, just an amazing Bible. Look, this, there's no inconsistencies. Um, one in Luke, but it's not that bad. Where this also varies from like the cameo is obviously, look, has the dates up here. The, the uh, turquoise does that. I do believe it's the turquoise. Um, the cameo does not do that. You're getting a wealth of information here, guys, and a great study material. Um, again, Schofield's notes are fairly minimal. It's not like a huge portion. You'll get some of these here, like this, but that's usually toward the ends and the beginnings of books. Look at that. Very nice pages. You can hear the, the thickness of that when it's turning. That other one I'd be afraid to rip. Uh, here's where it differs. <laughs> the words of Christ and red are not just while he was upon the earth. It also is in Revelations. Very nicely done. Hats off to church Bible publishers. So then we flip back here. We get into the dictionary of scripture proper names. Just like you would find in an R.L. Allen. My long primer has this. So you're getting stuff in here that you would not get with like a, a, a Cambridge or something like that. R.L. Allen, you want to spend $175 or you want to spend $50? It's your choice. <laughs> Three of these for the price of one of those and you're still saving $20. So at your proper names, you get uh, 46 pages of proper names and then it goes into subject index. Uh, the subject index is 36, I believe. Um, that's your subject index, you get in the concordance here. So you get three different, um, so it's 38, 38 pages of concordance, or I'm sorry, subject index, 38 pages. And then you go into concordance, and no, these are not, I counted them earlier, pre-counted them, they're not, they don't start over on the new area, they don't start over in counting, so. I did my homework for you guys watching. Uh, the concordance is very extensive, very extensive, and that's going to be a hundred and I thought I wrote it down, but I must not have. Um, it's going to be a hundred and thirty something pages long, I do believe. I thought I did my homework, caught me there. I actually did figure that up, but now. Here's that I forgot to write it down. I got sidetracked. Um, so 85 to, if you want to do the math, I'm not good at math in my head. 85 to 246. And then you get six pages of notes, blank pages for notes. Yeah, front 
back, six pages total. Then it'll go to the map index, index atlas of the, to the Holy Bible. These are older type maps. They're not going to be like the new Cambridge maps, so just keep that in mind. They're not going to be real colorful and pop really well, but they're nicely done. Very nicely done. You get like 12 of those, I do believe, and it's matte finish, which I love to see. And you get this cardstock in the back, and you're at the end, guys. <laughs> Again, can't say enough about this Bible. Um, definitely highly recommend CBP. There's no flaws in this Bible. You can't say there's a flaw even when there's one page that's a little lighter than the other. And there's that's not through that's not the case with this Bible. I'm not saying that. Um, I'm saying that, <laughs> like in Luke. The red letter gets a little bit lighter than, than most of the other ones, but it's not like bothersome. It's not going to be like really horrible. Um, that's actually where it's at right there, but you can still see that that's really readable still. Hats off to um, Church Bible Publishers. Very well done. $50 Bible, guys. Um, it's not line matched. <laughs> but either is that under sixty three ninety nine. It's not line matched. Not line matched. They're exactly the same font, style, size. This a hand size study Bible. Um, gonna be a little thicker, but not much. Look at that. You get the raised hubs. You get the perimeter stitching, the edge lining, the Smith sewn. Everything you would have gotten in the Cambridge for $50. You can get three of these and save $10. $13.99 you'll save by getting three of these compared to one Cambridge. So think about that. Uh, you got one Cambridge for $163.99 in black. You can get the black, the blue, the black, the brown, and the red in this. And it also comes in mid-size. The mid-size will come into different things. Um, Bit size will have the wide margin, so it'll be this exact text, but it'll have a wide margin here. So it's a little bit bigger of a Bible. They consider it a bit size, and I would I would agree. This is a perfect Bible. It's going to be a perfect Bible for preaching, teaching, learning. Yeah, I just can't say enough about it, guys. Definitely head over there. The link will be in the description. Um, I love CBP. I hope to do more reviews for them in the future. And I also want to state because I'm have to state the fact this Bible was giving to, given to me by CBP in exchange for an honest review and an honest review is what I give. I would not lie if there was something I didn't think I liked I would let you know but 100% like everything about this Bible. These Bibles are amazing. Um, almost makes me feel silly for buying a $163 Bible. I did buy that cameo myself a while back. Um, the uh, Clarion I did not buy. It was in exchange for an honest review. And yes, I love the Clarion. If you like a single column, um, you're probably going to go with a uh, Cambridge Clarion. Again, this is just amazing. And there's no cockling. You'll hear that popping. That's the way it's bound. Um, they do a really, see, really great job. Everything's been approved upon a, on this Bible compared to their old LCBP when they, before they split. CBP, definitely the way to go, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that grain. Just amazing. This is iron calfskin again, so it's going to be smoother, but there's still grain there, and it's just a pleasant thing to hold, to carry. Um, you're not going to be worried about it, and you can get the gift boxes online. Um, that way you have a box to carry it in. Um, I wouldn't worry about it, just because this Bible's made to last. I had a CBP that I this actual exact one but not red letter 265 LCBP that I gave they say church on the spine I gave it to my niece and she loves it uh, and it's, that's years old that's five six years old and still looks brand new so again head over there love you guys thank you for watching God bless